strong as the other engine, so sometimes Edward feels left out. The Duke and Duchess of Boxford came to visit their new summer house. They came on their own private engine called Spencer. Spencer is big and silver and very fast. When Spencer pulled into Nassau, his driver had exciting news for him. You have beaten Gordon's record, he said. Of course, boasted. You see many people. summertime on the island of Sodor. Gordon pulled the passenger express. It was very busy, but Gordon loved the hustle and bustle. Henry hauled freight cars in the forest. He loved the peace and quiet, but he didn't see many people. Sometimes working in the forest could be very lonely. Later, Henry pulled into Natsford Station. He was delighted to see all the passengers. But Gordon was not delighted to see Henry. Keep your smelly freight away from my passengers, grumbled Gordon. But it's only logs, chuffed Henry. Passengers and freight do not mix, huffed Gordon, and he wished away. Henry watched the express leave the station. I'd like to pull passengers, sighed Henry, just for a change. Henry stopped at the water tank on the edge of the forest. Children were standing by one of the trees. What are those children doing? Henry asked Thomas. That's the old Sodor wishing tree, said Thomas. They must be making a wish. A wishing tree? gasped Henry. How wonderful! Do you think it could make my wish come true? asked Henry. It might, said Thomas, and he puffed away. Henry rolled up to the wishing tree. He took it. It was a busy time on the island of Sodor. The railway inspector was coming. The signals were checked. Platforms were scrubbed. Everyone wanted the railway to look its best. At last, the big day was here. I'm so sorry. The railway inspector arrives today, Mr. Puffin Hat said. It's been rude. It had been a stormy night on the island of Sodor. Telegraph poles had blown down. Tiles had blown off the station roof, and branches had... Yes! Reneus and the Dinosaur. Reneus and Star Lois are the best of friends. They love working together. And 
they enjoy shunting freight cars, they fist them, and they bash them all day long. That summer, some men from the Sodor Museum had found some very old bones. When they put the bones... Henry's lucky day. The winter holidays were coming, and a thick blanket of snow covered the island of Sodor. Snow just blocked the line, and the tracks were very slippery. The engines felt frozen from their funnels to their footprints. But Henry talked happily through the snowy countryside. None of his lines were blocked. You are the only engine to have made your deliveries on time today, Chuck Thomas. You must have lucky trucks. Henry saw that none of the other engines were back. Maybe you're right. Maybe I do have lucky trucks, he puffed. That night, when the engines were all asleep, Henry thought how pleased he was to have lucky trucks. Now I will always 